Sorrento is amazing. I'm leaving tomorrow and I just wanted to do a little wrap up because we've been here five days and this is the night before we're going to leave and go down to Sicily. Yay, Reggio de Calabria. So just a few thoughts on the Amalfi Coast and Sorrento. Sorrento is this beautiful Italian resort right before the Amalfi Coast starts. But it has all the services like grocery stores and good restaurants. And some of them are closed in the winter. Everything opens up again in March. But people are so friendly. And I just had the best time at dinner. Oz Italian. I'll put the link below. You know, here's the funny thing that's really true about traveling in Italy. I went to dinner. Um, they were open. They're open all day, so they don't wait to open at 7 o'clock after you're starving for two hours. Um, they're just open. They have about one, two, three, four, five, seven tables, seven or eight tables. So I started talking to the, uh, to the chef. Wonderful, excellent service, and uh, we had a great time. <laughs> and I did a new thing. I did the trip advisor review as I was sitting at the table and then showed him. He was really appreciative. He knew English too, so it was fun to banter with him because my Italian is not at the banter level. I had an absolutely amazing day. We went over to Capri to take pictures and Some of the ferries got canceled. See, the thing about Sorrento is you have all of the transportation available. Um, a few of the ferries got canceled. This is the middle of winter because it was cold in white caps, but we walked to the beautiful Arch Natural, which is stunning. And it was buzzing over there. The last time I went two years ago, it was all overcast. It was right before the pandemic. Nothing was happening there. Hardly anything was open. And it was just buzzing today. It was funny. We sat down for coffee on the piazza. And we both decided that $10 for coffee was too much. <laughs> so here's the secret. You go inside and do the stand-up coffee like the local Italians. And then it's only two euros. Um... That was fun. And good thing we did because we made it down to the port to get the ferry. And if we hadn't just made it by a few minutes, um, we would have had to wait another five hours. Wow, what an amazing day. So Sorrento is incredible. If you want a place to live, to go investigate and explore and discover on the Amalfi Coast, which is one of the most beautiful places in the world. I've been around the world, uh, flying around the world with one of my tickets three times around the circumference and 35 countries. And I've got to say, this is one of the most beautiful places. And, you know, besides the beauty it's the people. The people are incredible. The food is amazing. I had the best um, local wine. It's the best local wine I've ever had in my life. Oh, and here's a tip. The local wine, well, all Italian wine has less alcohol than we get in California, so it's easier to get drunk in California. One glass here, you're just happily high. It's not like, you know, it's just, it's just a very smooth buzz. Um, just had a delightful evening. I love this country so much. So if you're looking to come to Italy, you can. All you have to do is prove that you're healthy with your vaccinations, your COVID shots. You can still travel. Italy is one of the... Um, countries that, because they were in the top three. I was here two years ago when the pandemic hit, and here I was for the official lockdown. I wasn't sure I was going to get out, uh, but I did. 
Um, so they're pretty strict about their rules and uh, it's a good thing with masks and so forth. So uh, one thing I love about Sorrento, there's many, but it's the start of the Southern Italy region. So you're gonna find a different um, different cuisine. You're going to find different, um, a, a more of a friendliness. So wrapping it up from Sorrento, we're going to Sicily tomorrow, Reggio de Calabria, which is a tiny little um, city on the tip of the boot toe of Italy. And then we're gonna take the hydrofoil for 20 minutes over to Sicily and we'll be in touch. Ask me anything you want about Italy and reporting from Sorrento. So, ciao Bella. I'd show you my room, but it's pretty messy. <laughs> about ready to pack. <laughs>